Hello, I've got the ESMC04 stepper motor controller connected to a size 23 motor. It's about a 10 ohm coil resistance motor, that one, and it's connected to a 24 volt supply. This is the motor running, or well, the board is in uh, just straightforward push button mode. One push makes the motor go one way, one button that is, and the other button makes it go the other way. So we've got one on clockwise and one on anti-clockwise. And we can adjust the speed by turning this pot on the board. Uh, that should speed it up going um, anti-clockwise. Yeah. Slow it down going the other way. Whoops. Just go all the way the other way. And that's slower. There's an onboard uh, pot there. Now, then that controls the step speed. So if you change the step resolution, I'll just go back up a little bit there. Um, using these two mic uh, dip switches, we can go, if we put them both to the right, it sets it on uh, one eighth step. And so the motor goes a lot slower. It's a pretty hefty motor and you've got tons of torque on that one. This is a um, one and a half amp driver per phase. Now uh, we go back to full step and you've got another mode here. Um, on, you've got three onboard modes. So I, I'll switch the supply off, change the mode, so we'll go into programmed. I've already programmed it for 50 steps um, per push of the button. Now I've got two switches there. The number two sets it to programmed mode and it's already programmed as I said and switch number three um, selects it for no overrun so when the motor hits its indexed position that's 50 steps it'll stop turning and it'll wait for a press of the button in the other direction can be quite useful for making things go back and fro so we'll switch power on and the motor should go 50 steps one way and 50 the other if we hold them down it'll just keep going like that all day if we take off overrun you can uh, or, or overrun inhibit it will just keep going 50 steps each time you press the button and the same in the reverse and you can set that up for any number of steps pretty much um, in either direction so you can have 20 steps one way and 10 the other and you can and you can program that as a single single step uh, programming where you press the button each time it, it increments by one step or you can have another mode of setting up where you just hold the button down and it spins and you can turn it turn the pot down so that it runs quite slowly to do that another mode <coughs> the board has is um, just a straightforward single step so each oops hang on I haven't, I haven't switched it off hold on uh, right I've changed the mode but I didn't switch off now um, we press the button and the motor just turns by one step each time we press it and it goes either way and there is a dwell so that after the last time you push the button the motor remains powered for just under a second that's so that you get plenty of torque but it goes it switches itself off so you don't burn the motor out or the board because it, it, things can get pretty hot if you've got a low resistance motor another mode we've got is external control so if i take this jumper out here whoops i switch the board off first and take out this jumper and I've got here a PIC micro just on a connector I just quickly put this together with this with an on off switch to it so it's, it's just a, an inhibit and the, power, the connector there has got five volts coming out so we can connect a PIC directly to it I think that's a uh, that PIC is a ooh, can't read it um, 12F629 it's flash programmable uh, right and if we switch on, we should see. Right, I've got the. Uh, let's switch that onto a smaller step mode. So I'll slow it down a bit. Um, we've got that motor running. I think uh, 200 steps in each direction. So it's going halfway. That means the um, that the board is set to half step mode, which you can see from those dip switches. Uh, not very clear and there it goes and we can um, and that's running at a, f a fixed speed 
so that can be speeded up on the on the little pick chip we've got running there. Now I've put on a smaller motor, one that I got from an old printer probably, and it just because it's a smaller motor, um, we can turn it faster pretty much, even though you've got less torque. So we'll switch power back on, and let's see how quickly this one goes. Okay, so that's going pretty slow there. We'll turn up the speed a bit. Actually, we'll go into programmed mode first, so um, <clears throat> we hit it back into there. It's programmed at 50 steps per push, and we'll speed it up, see if it'll handle. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a bit too fast for it. Let's just go down a tad. You can hear it's... Oh, that's not 50 steps. Oh, right, so this yeah, I haven't got overrun. Right, just flick overrun inhibit on. Right, and there, there it goes. 50 steps each way. And if we change the step resolution, go full step, see how fast it can handle. It's going pretty quickly there. Quite smooth. And we just turn the pot right down and see how that goes. That's nice, nice. And going to change the step resolution, just go one eighth step here. See that's it's smooth it's smoother and it moves less distance. But we can crank it right up. Crank up the speed whoosh, all the way around. And there it goes. And believe me, that has got some torque. Even a little motor like that. I think that's a 5 ohm motor. Um, it's not getting particularly hot, but it'll practically take the skin off your thumb if you if you try to stop it. It's good stuff. All right, let's go to no overrun. It goes pretty quick. Uh, let's see, let's see how fast we can get it going. It's nice and fast. Thank you.